Stephen Montague wrote his piece Tsunami in 1997. It is a terrific piece of music that allows students not only to develop a really large range of techniques and sounds, but also to use their imagination and create a narrative. The title itself, Tsunami, refers to the Pacific Tidal Wave, and I think that idea allows the students to create their own story. There is plenty of opportunity for doing this in the way that the piece is constructed. You will hear a thematic cell that is repeated constantly through the piece. And this is done in all sorts of difference in accentuation, in dynamics and in timing as well. Very importantly, we will speak about that later on. But try to create images and that actually reflect what's happening in the music. The most important indication of the piece is that you have to hold down the pedal from the very beginning all the way to bar 50 and please enjoy the dissonances because this is part of the excitement of the piece. The implication is that you have to be very careful in the way that you manage the balance of the music and make sure that even if it says fortissimo that you're always listening to what's happening at the piano so that you can judge the balance very carefully. It's more important to have the right amount of energy rather than having a huge amount of sound all the time. So, just to play a little bit of it, uh, right at the beginning, press the pedal before you start and allow the wrists to really flick very, very quickly into these quick notes, rather than playing every single note on its own. That will create a really wonderful effect. The piece is written in three, four staves sometimes, but don't feel intimidated by it. It actually allows you to see the rhythm more clearly. And you have to be so precise about sustaining that crochet beat. That is incredibly important. And that will be extremely relevant as we reach bar 17, when after playing this melodic material in fortissimo, then in piano, then the composer not only uh, uh, in introduces clusters in the left hand, but he also changes the time signature and allows, and if there's the duality between the 3-4 and the 4-4. Four, four. That for me is that the wave is coming. You see, you, you can feel it, that it's coming right near the coast. So please keep that crochet pulse extremely, extremely carefully. The most exciting moment of the piece, of course, when the tsunami is happening, is taking place when a huge glissando up and a huge glissando after that, you will have the same phrase repeated three times and then some really long chords uh, that will allow the music just to calm down. Just before we are actually told to release the pedal, there are three very important things that we need to do. We need to do some clusters with our arms, we need to say shh with the final chord and we need to sustain that shh towards the end, so make sure you take a little, a big, big breath. Uh, breath. And we all have to silently press the notes of the last chord before we release the pedal so that you have those notes just as an echo all the way with the shoe. And finally, make sure that you follow that instruction of freeze motionless for five seconds. If you don't remember what a second is, just keep counting crochets in your mind. The indication of around 176 to 192 it would be an addition of four to five bars, more or less. But just make sure that that last gesture is extremely dramatic, because that's really what's part of the music. A really exciting piece of music and I'm sure many students will learn quite a lot out of this and create gain much more sensitivity in their fingers as well. So hope you enjoy.